Michelin and Milwaukee. Here we go then, um, the opening moto of the live stream. This is Moto 3 for the 85 combined open class, small wheel and big wheel. Oh, I'll tell you what, they will lay it on thick and fast. They were awesome yesterday. As I said, Tyler Hooley, look out for him, 101. He took the race win, both race win. We've got the Planet Moto first across the line yeah. award. Let's see who's going to pull the whole shot first, though. So the gate drop looks like Cole McCulloch, number five, straight down the pipe. But is it? No. It looks like um, Harlow Green, number 10, on the Brian Goss Racing. Gas Gas took the early lead, but uh, he's been pipped there going down that first straight. So we are up and running. Now, these, these kids yesterday were put on hell of a display. So this is going to be a good one. Oh, no. Freddie Gardner down on the first corner, number 14, on that Matt Gardner racing KTM. Just getting my, uh, my laptop. Uh, yes. To uh, get some facts for us, mate, when they're going around. We, uh, we should be having the time. Uh, once they get over the stripe, we'll have the timing screens on. It is Askew, so Billy Askew, take Billy Askew with the Planet Moto first across the line, to win that first holiday. lap leader. So he gets five points to his uh, tally. So what this Planet Moto motocross holidays is, is going to be is every race this year, first rider in every class except the pros over the line will score five points. The winner the person with the most points at the end of the year is going to win a holiday, a ride holiday down to Spain, courtesy of Planet Moto. It's not bad, is it? Pretty cool gig, eh? They take your bikes and everything, don't they? I think, like, all the bikes are collected. You just get on the plane. Nicely, the all easy in. journey. It's all done. So, not, you know, we normally have whole shot awards, but it's a pretty cool concept to be, like, first over the line. Um, and, yeah, and what a great prize. So thanks to Max Flint and everybody at Planet Moto for stepping up with that little extra bonus championship within a championship. I'll tell you what, Billy Askew is looking pretty good at the minute. Well, I'll tell you, yesterday, Billy had two-thirds. He is such a sublime technical rider. He's small, diminutive. He's growing a bit quicker now, mind, but um, he has got great technique. Where's Tyler Hooley? So Tyler Hooley came through in 12, so he's got quite a little bit of work to do, hasn't he? Um, obviously, Tyler Hooley pretty dominant performance yesterday wasn't it so um see what he can do during this race he looks like i said to you yesterday, there he is look look at his look, he's on point with that looks kit. like dave pingry from back in, you know when he used to be in the troy lee vibes back in the day big up tyler hooley because he's made it easy for us to spot him yeah he's he in does. that float nice floor troy lee kit they're just heading down the back now so still leading the way yeah so ask you He's on the SJP Moto KTM. They got an impressive setup here in the uh, in the paddock here at Fat Cat. Yeah, and, and the, the one two fives. They've got Heyman now, haven't they, as well? So teams really trying to uh, get to work in the youth classes. So I've got to say, Cole McCulloch, uh, the rider from over there in Ireland. Obviously, Dad Phil was a top rider, Philip. But Cole is uh, on a small wheel. Up so it right, okay. so goes, goes to show how well he's going at the minute. Yeah, so definitely. remember, these are they're all in the same race, but they're scored separately in their championship. Yeah. So Cole is out there on a, on a small wheel. So the wheels are slightly, obviously, you know, big wheel, small wheel. Yeah. I think it's, four, uh, what is it, like 14 inch inches, for a rear yeah. wheel on a small wheel, 16 for a big. And it does it make a massive difference, especially when the track's like this and deep, anything deep, holes, Anything like that, you gain massive advantages with the big It wheel. does make a massive difference, Callum. You're absolutely right. So for him to be running second, and, and he pulled a whole shot yesterday as well, I think. Yeah, it's impressive. So he's convincingly uh, winning the small wheels at the minute. Now, what you're seeing on screen, uh, the, view, the viewers uh, there, regards all the, that time, not the times, but the positioning on the left-hand side, then that's not separated. That's just as they're running in the race. So, yeah, so it, if you want to... Obviously, you can do what we're going to do now. We go on to the, uh, the Speed Hive app, don't we? My laps. And, uh, and, and on there, it will be separated into small wheel and big wheels. So if you're at home watching and you want to get into it, then that's also an option for you to do that. Yeah, so separating the classes um, rather than the running order on the screen. I know it gets a little bit, oh, we've got a couple of riders down. So... Um, you can separate the classes on there. So, so basically, with the small wheel, the current running order of the small wheel, it's Cole McCulloch leading the way over Harlow Green. Chester Hyde is in third. Then it's Reese Jones for fourth. Hayden Stapp 
is in fifth. But that looked like Lewis Spratt on the floor to me that we just he saw did. rolling around. So I think he's fallen out of six. Brandon Buckley for seventh. Drew Scott is in eighth. Then it's Elfie Osborne in ninth. Then Freddie Gardner, who got that bad start, went down on the first corner. Then it's going to be Zane Sibley, Deakin for 11th. 12th is Zane Stevens. Then it's Kaylin J. Griffiths. Uh, currently, this is in the small wheels for 13th. Mason Jones, 14th. Ronan Mallet for 15th. Then it's Louis Challenger. That's a great surname. It is a brilliant surname, isn't it? 16th. 17th, Tyler Townsend. In the big wheel class, you can see clearly leading the race. Number 441, Billy Askew. Tyler Hooley is up to second in the big wheel category. Well, I mean... Third in the race. Considering his performance yesterday, I, I did expect him to pull through the pack, that's for sure. He is closing in fast on Billy Askew. I think it's only going to be a matter of time. And he's getting pushed along by Ben Musto, who's in third. Ashton Balgen with a pretty good start for fourth. Fifth is Ollie, Ollie Budd, then Harrison Greenoff in sixth. Kyron Karen is in seventh position. Eighth, Ryan Waggup. And you find Josh Vell back in ninth. Not such a good start for him. And tenth is going to be Jack Mira. So there you are. That's the running order in the separate, if you separate the classes. So it looked like Hooley is now in second. So Hooley's now chasing down our leader, Billy Askew. So they're both on big wheel bikes. So Tyler Hooley and Billy Askew are battling for this championship. Um, the cameras are... Oh, oh no. What well, it's like to be... Zane. Zane? I don't, I'm not sure we can't see... Is that Zane Seabley Deacon yet? Yeah. I, I think yeah, it is, number be. four. What a shame. Well, oh, I, I remember being a kid that size. Oh, you just can't pick the bike up. But to, to his credit, he was giving it a go and not stood there, yeah, waiting flapping for his Dan, arms. Waiting for Dan. I always remember at AMCA back in the day, you used to have to do a test where you'd have to pick your bike up. And remember those little tests that you used to have to do before you raced? <laughs> Good times. Good times indeed. Uh, this is such an amazing sport, of course. Um, if you're tuning in for the first time and watching a motocross event, we hope you enjoy what you see because um, we might be slightly biased, but um, it's the sport of kings. Uh, you've basically got to have fitness, determination, the whole focus. Strength. It's a very difficult sport to, to train for, isn't it? It's, it's, it's the same as MMA, really. You know, you've got to be good at everything. Um, conditioning, body, mind, the lot. You know, it's not a simple sport, motocross. So, at the minute, as you can see, Tyler Hooley is just creeping up towards the back of Billy Askew now. We haven't got it on screen at the minute, but that battle is starting to brew at the front. Yeah, nice in the middle of, them. right in the middle of the circuit. Here, we got the guy in the flow kit. Tyler Hooley going for the lead with Billy Askew. So, he's get, they're just entering the section what we were talking about where Lewis Hall yesterday was oh. carrying a tremendous amount of speed so we're on them now here we go we're, yeah we're, we're on to the lead battle watching tyler hooley and uh, trying to carry tons and tons of momentum around there into the roller section at the back that me and jeff were talking about not that specific roller section yet yeah, using his legs using his body hanging off the back it takes some oh yeah here we go <laughs> callum buckle in Rat first motor of the day and it's already going to get exciting Here's Hooley, he is good. He launched that jump there. So he is using those longer legs, hanging. Billy's a little bit smaller. Maybe doesn't quite have the strength for Tyler and Tyler is muscling that bike round. So it's gonna be, oh, I can't see. Billy's gonna have to defend here. Does he even know that he's caught him that quick? Look at Tyler down that Tyler, rolling section. Tyler he's gonna go round the outside here, isn't he? He's making a ton of time in those roller sections. He's really using his long legs to his advantage, isn't he? I think like having that extra bit of height in, the, in those, you know, those parts of the track, it does help. It's absolutely flying as they launch over the finish jump. He is hanging off the he, bike he of that is, yeah. back of that gas gas. So it's, uh, it's a KTM. Versa Gas Gas, well, loads of you in the sport will know they are different, but they're kind of not, <laughs> you know. Yeah, they're the same, aren't they? It's KTM group, isn't it? You can have a red one, a white one, or an orange <laughs> one. It's up to you. But um, Tyler okay. making it work. I noticed Tyler had a Hooli in second there. He's got like a, he's got a, a higher padded seat because he's grown so much. Look at him. I mean, yeah, he literally. I if he's got a bigger frame as well. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of the kids now, they, try, they, they go for the bigger frames. They get them made in Belgium, don't they, or Holland or something. And it is an option for some of the taller guys because Hooley is he's one of the taller riders, isn't he, in this class? Here he goes, round the outside, trying the move. 
carrying more momentum down the straight, but Billy is riding those inside lines. And sometimes you think carry more momentum around the outside, but look at that. Oh, straight up the inside. Is he going to be able to do it though? Because because Billy could probably maintain a little bit more speed now going on through the outside of this section here into the rollers. I don't I, know whether t Tyler's going to be able to. This is where he was so quick. Look at him hang off the back. Yeah. Look at him trying to seat bounce that thing down through there, but Billy's going to pinch him. No. There's no way that Billy could have defended that, I don't think. So there you go. You have a new race leader, number 101, Tyler Hooley, who took two moto wins yesterday. But I will tell you this. Billy Askew, he might look diminutive yeah, take and, and quiet. And sh The minute that crash helmet goes on, he fights, man. He's an animal. Look, he's going back now. He's not letting Tyler just walk away with it. He's led, you know, he, he's had a few laps led now. He's had a taste for it. Um, he's going to want a bit more of that throughout the season for sure, isn't he? I mean, Hooley's just so fast around here well, through the roller sections. I just don't think any of the others have got that speed. In you know, whether it is, he's got a tall stature, hasn't he? It really does help. But um, see whether Billy Askew can do anything about it. Yeah, what a great uh, couple of opening motos and one we have today put by this uh, Sintol Lubricants 85cc class. Sintol, by the way, a brand new oil brand that uh, of, of in the UK that have basically. Um, launched and then got involved with the Michelin MX Nationals powered by Milwaukee and it's great to have them on board and coming straight in and supporting the series. It's great to have any new sponsors on board, isn't it? It is. And, it, and uh, we, we, want it, we thank all of our sponsors, obviously. The Michelin MX Nationals fueled by Milwaukee now. Yep. So cool to have Milwaukee getting on board as well. So we can't thank those guys enough as we just continue to grow the series. That was Mason Jones uh, just picking his bike up there. So no sign of the one lap board to go yet. This race is 15, uh, sorry, this race is, yeah, it's uh, 15 minutes plus one lap. Oh, we've got another rider. Oh, down another there. rider gone into the back end. One, oh, that was one, Musto, two, three. Ben oh. Musto, who is currently running. That's not Gus Musto, by the way, that's his brother. This is, that's actually Ben. That's they've, ben. they've got the name wrong there. That is actually Ben Musto, not I Gus. they're sharing transponders or something Which doesn't like help so, us. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, that's a shame. So I wonder how many spots he's lost because of that. Is he a big, he's a big wheel rider, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Right? So again, the current running order, remember these classes are separated. Um, well, they're all in together, but scored separate. Big wheel, small wheel. Tyler Hooley is clearly leading the big wheels ahead of Billy Askew. It was Ben Musto for third. Uh, then it was Ashton Belgian, Ryan Waggett. That was your top five in the small, in the big wheel. In the small wheel, it's still Cole McCulloch with a 17 second lead over Reese Jones, 104. Then Harlow Green sits in third ahead of Chester Hyde and Hayden Stapp. Ben just shaking his hand out there. Yeah. He, I don't know if he's hurt it or... Probably covered in sand, isn't it? He's already got sand all up in his gloves and everything. It, it, it can get messy, can't it, when you fall off in this stuff? It just gets everywhere. I mean, me and you did two laps and you, you had it all over you. I wonder why. I, well, yeah, I had two laps because when we was doing that <laughs> track preview, what you didn't see on the camera is the man sat next to me thought it was hysterical to just absolutely fill me in with sand <laughs> when I was trying to do a piece to camera. <laughs> oh, why, why have we not got that footage? I, I want to see, see that footage. Why did you cut the fun stuff out? I didn't edit it. Don't blame me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Tyler is starting to edge out at the front of the field. Now, we are hoping we got the winner's circle this year. So we've got to um, try to educate the riders. This is all new to them as well. So when the race is finished, to come straight down to the winner's circle where we're going to have a chat with the race winner of each race you see today. It's good for them as well. They can broadcast their, their sponsors and stuff. Because often, like you know, when you're watching it like this, people can't really see exactly. the, the branding on their bikes. And it just gives them that little bit more, doesn't it, to, uh, to showcase who's helping them out. It does indeed. And uh, as you can see, from when me and Callum did the track preview and it was all nice and flat, we're one race in here <laughs> with 85. And you can already see how the track develops, how berms get pushed through. They, you know, corners start to have big sweeping bumps that start to build. I can't believe how quickly that actually forms here. You know, the rollers through the corners and stuff. I mean, I know some of these, it, especially at the start of the day, some of these turns, especially like through the middle there, they're so high speed, aren't they, going into the, into the uh, rollers at the back. And it, I cannot believe how quickly the track just churns up. I looked at that, you know, half an hour ago and it was just a motorway. It's bizarre, isn't it? It's, it's good, though. That's, it makes us some good racing. That's motocross, man. That's what that we want. That is motocross. Uh, yesterday. We're at the hopefully, English Lommel. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, you're going to see this later on today, particularly in the second moto. 
As I said, we had Conrad Muse with us yesterday. He took two moto race wins in the MX2 Pro class. Um, the back section, uh, over by those Oakley banners you'll see on the circuit in a while, phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he, he has taken his, he's gone up a level. And how cool is it that we've got riders like Conrad here, and then we've got youth riders, clubmen, amateur, we can all watch him and learn and watch the pros mm. and learn. And I think, I think at the minute, I mean, it might be quite a bold statement, I don't know. But I think Conrad is, is one of the fastest 250 riders in the world. And I'm including America and everything. He, he may even be the fastest at the minute. I've never seen Conrad with so much confidence. Well, we did a piece with him uh, to camera yesterday. And I've got to say, he's a different, he's a different cat than what he was two or three years ago, he I is. think. And he, and he admits it in the interview. So hopefully we'll get that on the live stream today and you'll get to hear what Conrad Muse thinks of it all and where he's at I think, yeah. at his career right I think now. He's been working on himself in other ways, like you know, a bit of mentally, mentally and stuff. And he seems like a different guy, doesn't he? So let's see what it, what happens when it comes to uh, the first MXGP gate. Yeah, it'll be good to see. Yeah, looking forward to that. Okay, back to the action here with some of the small wheel riders. You can see having a, you can see the difference in size in some of these 85 cc riders. <laughs> it's like men racing against yeah. children, isn't it? Because they got like number 48. Uh, stat is he's tiny, absolutely tiny. Yeah, Hayden Stat, you can see how small he is. There he is. Look, he's like a little radio-controlled bike. Should we run through uh, the top tens of each class? Go for so it. I go for. Uh, I'll go for small wheel. So I do struggle with the small wheels names because <laughs> they're all because they're but all too cool. I need to cool. test myself. So uh, do it. Cole McCorkle leading the way, number five. Is that how we? Call Cole, Cole McCulloch. McCulloch, right there we are. Uh, and then uh, just following him is Reese Jones on the 104. Hollow Green, uh, he's on the number 10. He's lost a spot to Reese actually on the last lap. And then Chester Hyde for fourth. Hayden Stat is in fifth. Freddie Gardner, sixth. Brandon Buckley, seventh. Alfie Osborne in eighth. Zane Stevens is in ninth. And, oh, mate, Kalen J. Griffiths is in 10. Did I get that right? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you've pronounced that perfect. Okay, there we are. That's, in a minute, though, Kalen's parents will come up and say it's not Kalen. It's not Kalen. It's, um, it's something completely different. <laughs> I've had, I, we've had that before. Look, guys, I'm dyslexic. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> right, in the big wheel, uh, Tyler Hooley is still leading the way ahead of Billy Askew. Ashton Bowger now up to third after Ben Musto's crash that like i said that is not gus musto that is ben musto we're we'll trying to get that change for the next race uh ryan waggett currently finds himself in fifth ahead of harrison greenoff the rider from down in pool norset then a josh vale number 79 he didn't make the greatest of starts he's in seventh ahead of charlie richmond kyron karen for ninth and brett kelly the irish man let's call him a man not a boy yeah, you've got to be with an Irish person. I don't know what it is. Like, you just become a man a lot sooner, don't you? It's like <laughs> baby man. It's like toddler man. Straight there. Um, and, all, of course, a big thank you as well to Sintol Lubricants yeah. uh, for supporting this big wheel, small wheel 85 race here at the Michelin MX Nationals Field by Milwaukee. So, yeah, good shout out to, the, to Brett Kelly. And we have, a, we have a large Irish contingent that comes over and races the the MX Nationals and that's that's cool because that's a commitment yeah it is I mean like it, it's a grind really isn't it those guys have to get the boat and things like that and it's a, it's probably an expensive do as well I can imagine be, you know being over there uh, you know but if they want to get better it's what they've got to do isn't it? you know I don't know what their domestic championships are like but I, I can't imagine it has the depth that we, that we have in and uh, that is the, you know if they want to progress into our pro ranks and, and things like that it's the only option isn't it? I'm telling you that boat isn't cheap it's not. So, um, fair Stena, play to them. Stenaline. So, yeah, Stenaline or P&O or anybody that, uh, watching this live stream, yeah. get, get on board and support our Irish contingent yeah, and give them some discount. Look how many people are watching this stream. We'll get you some figures over. <laughs> you know, Stenaline, you're welcome to join the crew uh, down here at Michigan MX Nationals. Other ferry companies are available. <laughs> Are we, are we, do we have to say that? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got one lap to go in this opening 85 open race. This is Moto3 of the weekend. As we said, Tyler Hooley is looking for a clean sweep this weekend. He took the two Moto wins yesterday, as did Cole McCulloch on the GRT whole shot machine in the small wheel. So both of them 
currently on track to uh, go into the opening moto to try and make it a maximum score. Yeah, it was good to see Hooli have to like work for a little bit as well. He, he, you know what I mean? He, he wasn't gifted to him this time. You know, he didn't get the whole shot. And just, you know, he had to actually graph for this one. Um, Billy Askew put up a, a bit of a fight, didn't he? You know, I, I think Billy throughout the year will get better uh, and, and get closer to Tyler, depending on the tracks and stuff, obviously. Um, but Tyler has definitely shown that he's pretty much untouchable round fat cats uh, in the big wheel class this weekend. Obviously, we've got one more race to uh, figure that out. So let's see if Billy uh, Billy Askew can uh, figure something out and uh, and try and get one race win this weekend. As we said, we are going to uh, try to get the, all the riders up, the, the race winners up for a chat. But this is new to them. We've got a new winner's circle. We're adding something to the live stream. So we've got to hope that the riders get educated pretty quickly to remember when they win a race. The, the, we're yeah, trying to get up there. And if you're watching it in the motorhomes and stuff, then you need to get up there. This is, we're yeah. educating you. We have to uh, keep saying it over and over again because I was having to drag people by the scruff of the neck yesterday. <laughs> and, and sometimes you feel like the rider comes off the track they're steaming you know they're well there it is there's Tyler Hooley with another race win so that's uh, that's it we're going to try and get him to go up to the winner's circle right um okay uh down in the winner's circle here with Tyler Hooley Tyler a uh, good start to the day three for three man uh you, you, oh, and you had to come a long way back that time so how are you feeling about that well, I'm happy where I'm riding so far. I had a very rubbish start that race. I came through and won. I've had three out of three. I'm just trying to make it four out of four for this weekend. And what about, you know, your, your fitness and everything? You, are you feeling really good out there or are you starting to feel a bit tight towards the end of the races? What, are you obviously feeling all right. Towards the end of the race, I feel better than the start of really? the race, yeah. And the fitness is, I'm just not tired after any races. That's good. Got to say, loving the kit. We're, we're, we're waxing lyrical about your setup. You look on point. Down that back straight, man. You were hanging so far for the right. That looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, I've just been training with Justin Morris and stuff. He wants the only technique and that, and it's just got me the wins. Nice one. Well, look, go and get yourself uh, scrubbed up. You're going for four for four. Uh, we'll see. You, maybe see you back here in a couple of hours. Okay. So there you go. That's Tyler Hooley at the winner's circle. We're going to grab Carl McCulloch as well. Up next, he's going to come in as the winner of the small wheel. So here comes Carl. Um, he's already looked professional. He's already had a wash. He's all looking the part. Cole, you're flying and not only that, getting killer starts on the little small wheel bike as well. That was nearly another whole shot. I mean, you're waxing your opposition at the minute. Feeling good. You ride a lot of this stuff back home, Sand? Yeah, my dad does the sand track at home, so I ride it a lot and it's good practice for like here and Hawkstone and all them tracks. What's it like when, because dad obviously looking over there, a lot of experience, top racer. Do you get those moments with Dad where you're like, oh, come on, what do you know? But do, deep down, you know he knows what he's talking about, right? Yeah, sometimes it's annoying, but it's, something, <laughs> but it's the truth. So I just try and listen to him, and it's paying off. And what about uh, anybody you want to thank? Because obviously you've got a real good setup this year. Um, GRT Hoshot, um, Dan, John, everyone at the team, CI Sport, Gogo Bob, and everyone else. Nice one. Look, go and get yourself all scrubbed up, fresh kit, and come out to try and make it four on the trot. Nice one. There you go, that's Cole McCulloch on the GRT, whole shot KTM.